Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumpy Experience Stage 2. I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www.dateme.tips. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing Dumpy Experience Stage 2. So this is part two of a mini-series in which I am describing the likely experiences that a dumpy will go through. It goes without saying that not every single dumpy will experience every single thing which I am presenting to you within this mini-series. This, of course, has to be a generalised view based upon the research that I have done into the topic. But most dumpies from what I understand, will likely go through the stages that I am explaining within this mini-series. And in the first episode of the mini-series, in part one, where I was discussing the dumpy experience stage one, being a stage one dumpy, I was talking about how that a dumpy during this period of time will be thinking of their ex 24-7. They will not be able to understand any possibility of them ever being able to move forward from this mindset. They will not want to consider talking to, let alone dating, anybody new. So when a dumpy is within this stage one, when they are a stage one dumpy, they can only think about their ex. They can't imagine dating anybody else. And as far as they're concerned, it's their ex or nothing. Okay, nobody will ever be able to better their ex in their mind. They will never be able to find anybody who can come anywhere close to them in any way, shape or form. And this is a very challenging period to be in. When you are a stage one dumpy, things can look very desperate. Things can look very bleak. But eventually, the dumpy will start to move into stage two. And this is what, of course, we're focusing on in today's podcast. Now, it's important to say that there is no set time limits within these stages. Everybody will move through them on their own time. You know, their own time scale will take place within each stage. There is no rule. There is no set time limit where we say, right, OK, you're in stage one for X amount of time. Look, it changes for every single person. It is unlikely to be days, but some people will move into stage two within weeks. Most people perhaps in months and some people might take years. OK, so you just can't really imagine. You can't really predict where you're going to be within this because it's such a vast difference. As I said, it's unlikely to be days. Occasionally it's weeks. Mostly it's probably months, but whether that's one month, two months, three months, nine months, 10 months, 11 months, 12, you know, again, it's a vast difference in time. And then some people will actually take years before they move into the next stage. And as we're discussing in today's podcast, stage two, but when eventually somebody who is a stage one dumpy moves into stage two, they become a stage two dumpy. And being a stage two dumpy is quite an exciting time. Because it's almost like removing the shackles that have been holding you back for the period of time you've been a stage one dumpy. So you will get into the mindset where you begin to feel comfortable speaking with and dating new people. Now, it's important to say here that the dumpy, when they are a stage two dumpy, will still be thinking about their ex a lot. Although it won't quite be as intense as when they are in stage one. They will be thinking about their ex a lot and they will certainly still want to get their ex back. They will certainly still see their end goal as being with their ex. However, the difference with stage two is that there is now an acceptance and an understanding that they shouldn't be kind of clock watching. They shouldn't be sitting around doing nothing. And hence, they now feel comfortable speaking with and dating new people. 
But because the end goal is still to try to get their ex back, the likelihood is that any connection made with somebody else will be short-lived. It will either be a very short-term relationship, or it might even be something shorter than that, maybe a fling, maybe it's just conversationally based. Maybe no meeting will take place. A stage two dumpy can, if they're not careful, be quite selfish. Because unless they're explaining their situation to whoever they are now dating, this other person might think there is a genuine possibility of this growing, whereas the stage two dumpy knows full well they're never going to let this go any further. They are literally using somebody else to take their mind off their ex. Now, a stage two dumpy doesn't have to be somebody who is being unkind. You know, a stage two dumpy doesn't have to be somebody who is selfish. They can explain their situation. Now, you you know, you don't want to be saying it in as many words as, look, I'm just waiting to hear from my ex and then I'm going to vanish. You know, that would be a real silly thing to say. But you can still word it in a way which is truthful, yet not quite as cold as something like that. So a stage two dumpy might say something along the lines of, I've been through a breakup and I'm not ready for anything serious right now. So by saying something like that, they're getting across, they're getting a the message across to the new person that they are not looking for anything serious, they are not looking for anything long term, but they're not being as clinical and as cold as saying, look, I'm just waiting to see if my ex gets in touch. Um, you know, I'm happy to be with you until that point, but if they do, I'm going to drop you. You know, that's just cold, that's horrible. So if you word it in a way like that, if you say something along the lines of, I've been through a breakup, I'm not ready for a serious long-term relationship. But, you know, if, if you feel similar to this, then it would be great to hang out sometime and just take things from there, you know? And, and you will likely find people going through similar experiences where they are happy to connect with you on that level. What I would say is please don't be cruel. Please don't lead somebody up the garden path, as they say. Don't lead somebody to believe something which isn't true. Don't tell somebody that you love them. Don't tell somebody that you're going to have a future together when you know full well you are, in essence, using them for their time. Because that's just not fair. It's cruel and it's not on. If, you, if you're as honest as you can be without sounding cold, then you will likely find people in a similar position. And, you know, for want of a better phrase, you can you can use each other, you know. And it's not just about the physical. As I said, it might be a situation where you don't even meet someone. You might be just speaking to them. You might be online dating and just chatting. And all of these things, they don't just take your mind off your ex. They also enable you to grow as a person. They allow you to practice your dating skills, your flirting skills. They can make you a more complete person. You can learn about yourself. You can really refine your thoughts. Even if you're a stage two dumpy and therefore you're thinking, look, I still really want my ex back. I'm just doing this so I'm not just sitting at home doing nothing. You can think of it as a way of, look, you know, if and when my ex gets in contact, I want to make sure my dating skills are on point and they're not going to be on point if I'm not doing anything, if I'm sitting at home. I'm not practicing, I'm not improving, I'm not becoming a better person. So dating new people is a great way to refine my skills. So you can think of it that way. You need to understand that there is not necessarily going to be that moment where your ex does contact you. You know, there is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back. Not every ex will make contact. But a stage two dumpy will be thinking to themselves, well, I now feel comfortable enough to speak with somebody new, to date somebody new, as long as I can keep in my head that if my ex gets in touch, I'm just going to drop the situation. And that is what a stage two dumpy will be thinking. That is what they will do. They might be dating somebody new. They might be chatting with various other people. If their ex does get in contact, all of a sudden they'll stop speaking, they'll stop dating. They will just drop these people. And like I said earlier, you've got to make sure you're respectful as much as you can be during this time. But the stage two dumpy is thinking, if I hear from my ex, I'm just going to drop everything and go straight back to them. That is the mindset of a stage two dumpy. And it does show the progression of going from stage one where you're thinking 24-7 about your ex. You can't imagine dating anybody new. You can't imagine spending your time with anybody else. 
and you think if you do it might be counterproductive it might be something which is going to really negatively affect your chances of getting your ex back when you're a stage two dumpy you realize that's not the case you realize that living your life is very very important it's not going to affect the chances of your ex contacting you in fact in some instances it might increase the chances because you're going to become a more valuable person through uh, through social proofing you know you are dating other people and hence That showcases your value as a person. You don't want to, of course, be letting your ex know about this through a direct message, but things generally kind of get back to people. Friends of friends, social media, all sorts of things could mean that your ex actually hears about you dating new people. That's not going to put your ex off. That might make them want to contact you even more. Additionally, if you're dating other people, then you're less likely to break no contact or something which is really going to damage your chances of getting your ex back. So a stage two dumpy starts to understand this and they start to live their life whilst still having real strong pangs of missing their ex, thinking about their ex. And they often deal with the whole situation by thinking, look, I'm just doing this to tread water. I'm just doing this whilst I'm waiting for my ex to contact me. And that is the fact of the matter. You know, that is what I'm going to be doing. And we're just going to wait till that moment. Now, the magic of becoming a stage three dumpy, which is what I'm going to be speaking about in the next podcast in this mini series is what happens from this point what happens when a dumpy begins dating new people what happens when a dumpy speaks to lots of new people and how this progresses as time moves forward but that is all going to be discussed in the next and final part of this mini series which i'll be speaking about the stage three dumpy experience So please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you ring that bell for notifications because if and when I drop that content, you want to be notified. And if you're not being notified, that is likely because you have not rang the bell. If you just subscribe, YouTube will no longer notify you. You need to make sure you ring the bell. If you're listening to this podcast on a different platform, a dedicated podcast platform, then please consider checking out my YouTube channel. Just type into YouTube Vincent Boss and you will find my YouTube channel. Subscribe, ring that bell for notifications because on YouTube I do post content that is not uploaded to other dedicated podcasting platforms. I know I've got a strong following on the podcasting platforms and I really appreciate you all but you are missing out on content which I don't upload to these platforms. So please make sure you go to YouTube and you subscribe that way as well. You can also get more involved in the comments and through the other things which I'm doing. So I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast. If you are going through the grind as a dumpy, understand things will get better. You will smile again. And now you've heard what it's like to be a stage one dumpy. Maybe that resonates with you. Now you've heard what it's like to be a stage two dumpy. Maybe this has resonated with you. Please look out for the new upload, which I'll be doing ASAP completing this mini series of the dumpy experience becoming a stage three dumpy and what this means on the journey of a dumpy basically the breakup journey because as a dumpy you will go through this most dumpies will experience what i'm describing even if not every single one most of you will so you may as well prepare yourself for what is likely to take place in your future If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back. Or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah. Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me dot tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem. Yeah, date me dot tips. Check it out now.